first place, I would like to say that I'm really grateful for what has been given to me. Thanks a lot for that. Um, and now it's, this is just great to have a chance to see you and to hear you. Thank you for that possibility. For the past year, I definitely got the idea of what you mean about the materiality of that impulse. Uh, so basically my question is about the situations where I'm not able to, uh, to take a decision because I'm not able to, 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 to tune in, to, to connect to that impulse. Uh, in most cases, these are the situations where an instant reaction is needed, where it's really urgent. I mean, I can't say when the train is leaving, I can't say like to a train driver, like, hey, brother, hold on, I need like more time to tune in. So you do have the experience of the impulse of the truth, the materiality of that impulse. You have that experience, but there are times when you're not able to tune in fast enough in situations where you have to respond fast to the situation. So this is a process. And if I remember right, there was a time when you didn't even know what I was talking about when I spoke about this impulse of the truth. It didn't make it was it was more a concept for you, but not an experience. And today you're speaking more about it being an experience, which means that you have gone through a, a process, and that process is actually the process of self-realization. So it's like in the beginning, everything around has to quiet a little bit. You have to move a little bit inward, centered, and then start to feel, start to go into a surrendered state and start to feel this thing. And after a while, you start to actually feel a material impulse, which is just crazy because one can't even imagine or believe that it's possible, but it is possible and many people experience it. And what happens is that as you grow into this surrender again and again and again, look, it's a sadhana. It's not something, it means it's a spiritual practice. It's a, it's a, one can call it a meditation. It's not really a meditation in the classical sense of the word, but it is a, a state into which you have to pull yourself again and again. And what happens is that as you go more and more into the surrender, and as time also is given into it, after a while, the body goes into a sort of an automatic state. How I, how I experience this moment or what's happening now. It's like a, a state where uh, this, this whole thing, this body is, is doing, you know. The eyes are seeing, the ears are hearing, the, 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 I'm smelling, what this is smelling, you know, something is being uttered, movements of the hand, and all of this is done as an instrument of a, of a, of a, of the source, of the center of the being. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Now, suddenly, if something had to be done, very fast, very suddenly, it is an automatic reaction of the system. It's almost like the system is an, an instrument in every moment, you know. It is a process that happens, and it happens as the surrender deepens. So, in a couple of years, if you stay with it, and it's also a matter of being really to feel that source as a guru within you, it's your Guru, it's your Antar Guru, the, the Master within, you know. And as you bend down to that, offer the ego into that flame, into that, into that flame of Truth, you know, you burn the ego in it. Oh, the ego is telling you, you know, eat this. No, you burn it and you listen to the impulse and eat what the impulse is telling you to eat or is making you eat. And as you grow with that, oh, this, this car, buy this car. No, what is the Truth saying? The ego is saying, buy that car. The Truth is saying, buy the even bigger car. Then you go with the bigger car. It's like you're more and more and more going with that impulse. And after a while, 
in a way it's like a, almost like a being a robot but a a joyous robot a robot that is alive with real life you know not an electrical robot but a but in a sense also an electrical one so you become more and more the instrument but it's a practice if you give up the practice you can't be that you know and there'll come a time when you don't have to ask or wait for an impulse should i jump on that train or not this is that much in surrender that it will know what is the thing to do and it'll just do it so it is something that is experienced actually uh, experienced so it's not an idea in my head that you know i'm sort of trying to palm off on a few people it's actually it's actually yeah this in surrender to that as an instrument and just living and acting the matter of time and gradually it will happen anyhow but you have to stay with it you know you have to be in surrender to the antar guru to the to the master within